So how does it feel to get those goals off your chest? Uh, good. The monkey's off the back a little bit, but uh, just trying to get better every game after missing a decent amount of hockey. So um, it's good to get the two tonight. Mm -hmm. And that second one, it actually seemed kind of like a surprise to you back in that in there. Were you shocked it went in and you just kind of threw it? Yeah, yeah. I was actually surprised both those pucks bounced out to me uh, right in front of their net. But, uh, you know, just trying to get a quick release and glad they went in. Do you feel like you're, you're conditioned well yeah. now? You're, you're getting back into the swing of things? After yeah, for sure. Long? I mean, it took a, you know, had good legs energy the first game. And then after, you know, that kind of slowed down a little bit. But I'm finally starting to come back after game five, six. And, uh, you know, start to feel good out there. Mm -hmm. And the PK, does it feel good right now with the way the oh, game is at? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's doing pretty well. Uh, um, you know, no complaints there. Everything's going well. So. And you and Tarjan, you guys seem to work really, really well together. Is there a, because you guys played together so much last season? Is there a, a big chemistry there? Or is it just you guys? Yeah, I mean, we, we've played together for a couple of years now. So, um, you know, he's a hard worker like me, and he's you know he's got some touch around the net as well. So. Um, you know, like I said, it took a few games for us to, you know, get going. A little frustration there, but um, you know, hopefully things will start uh, swinging up for us now. Mm -hmm. And then playing against Texas, you guys have a bit of a history with them, and you play them several times throughout the season. Yeah. Is there any, you know, particular challenges that you personally face when going into games against them or against? Lane well, <laughs> they, they've played a run and gun game since you know I've been here, so mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's usually high scoring games when we play them, and you know, we try to you know limit their opportunities and chances. Um, the best we can, and we did a pretty good job tonight, that tonight after the first period. And what can you tell me about Phil Kronick? Um, he's kind of, he's, he's on a, a streak right now, a six-game streak. Yeah, he's on a tear right now. Um, you know, he came into the season, and uh, you know, he's trying to compete for a job up top, yeah. and he's doing everything he can down here to, you know, make a name for himself and uh, you know, open up some eyes and say, hey, I'm the guy. So, uh, you know, kudos to him. Does it feel to get those two goals tonight and pass that 500 point mark? <laughs> Did you uh, even realize it when you did? No, I didn't. Uh, I just found out actually right now. Someone told me. Uh, it's good. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I was uh, streaking there for a little while, but, uh, you know, a couple bad breaks and wasn't fine in the back of the net, so nice to get through tonight and mm -hmm. kind of back on that and, um, you know, finish a heck of a good week for us. Yeah, absolutely, guys. I think got six points out of this week. And, you know, being over that 500 hump and being in a league as long as you have been, did you ever think that you would get to that point? Not something I ever really thought of, no, but, uh, you know, maybe when I'm retired, I'll look back and be a pretty cool accomplishment. But uh, right now, kind of focused on, you know, we got eight points this week on this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So uh, it's a lot of fun in here right now. I'm really enjoying uh, the way we're playing. And, and obviously the result is really helping. Mm -hmm. And Colin being back, have you noticed a, a really obvious change in the PK? Oh, night and day. Uh, the tenacity he has up ice to, to disrupt their breakout is uh, one of the best I've seen in this league. And, and he's a hard worker. He's got uh, he's in really good shape. He plays a lot of minutes, so uh, he's made a huge difference not only PK, but obviously five and five tonight with two nice goals. And with Elson and Camper being on the line with you, um, that chemistry. Tell me a little bit about that. How's that? Yeah, you really good. Uh, all three of us have been really going. To, I'd say the last 10, 12 games since we've kind of been put together. I've been with camps for most of the year, and um, you know it's kind of just a perfect fit. I think uh, camps is a, an elite uh, passer in this league. Uh, Elson has some some great speed, and, and he's uh, you know his tenacity on the puck is is kind of what drives our line. And, and we're they're all we're all finishing right now. Obviously, uh, Elson's had quite a few goals lately, and, and nice to see camps get one tonight. And just our line in general get back uh, kind of on the score sheet and, and kind of driving the play. And what can you tell me, um, Ronick right now is on a 16 point streak. And what, what do you see unique about him that's really setting him apart from the rest of the guys? He's, he's solid. I mean, he's steady. Uh, you know, the, the points he gets, he, you know, I think fans maybe don't see where the play begins uh, on a goal. And I think when we watch all the video, we see where, where it begins. And I think he starts it a lot of times. Uh, whether that's being, you know, beating the first guy in a breakout or just making the first good pass, um, you know, he's done that really well lately. And then uh, he's got a lot of offensive upside too on the power play. Uh, he's a great shot. You've seen a one timer a lot lately, so he's uh, he's playing really well. Awesome. All right, so we've had a very very successful week this week. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it was uh, I think the guys dug in deep, and I thought they thought today was kind of a sloppy game, but at the end of the day, the guys again were. Resilient. I didn't like the fact we gave up a two-goal lead, but you know, again, they dug their heels in and got the job done. So at this point of the year, 
you know, with, with our schedule as it is right now, it's just important to get the two points. Right, exactly. And now, I mean, with Rebar and Sateri, it looks like both of them are coming along pretty well. Sateri had a few scary moments tonight. Yeah, well, I, I think a lot of that can be attributed to our, our playing the D zone. It wasn't very clean tonight, and I thought we gave up a lot of chances that, you know, Harry didn't really mm -hmm. have a, an opportunity on. And uh, the ones that we still gave up as well, I thought, he did a great job. He made some big saves for us as well. Does he do anything differently compared to, to Lee Barr um, as far as in the net and decisions he makes? Is there anything markedly different about him? No, just a different kind of presence, different personalities. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not a goalie guru. I don't profess to be a goalie uh, coach, but at the end of the day, I just care about, I don't care how they do it, but stopping the puck. And they both uh, are, mm -hmm. are doing that right now. Yeah, and Ronick, he's, he's on a six-game streak right now. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about him and his play and, and how he's progressing? Uh, well, his offensive game is right where we thought it would be, and it's still progressing, which is awesome. He's done a great job offensively now. You know, one of the biggest things for Fulton to get the next level is to, is to defend and make sure we're playing hard on the puck defensively. And if he does that, then, you know, he's going to have opportunities out of this league. So, you know, he's got to continue to focus on that while we're still not losing, while we're still not losing the, uh, the offensive mentality as well. And sitting for tonight, obviously, there's too many veterans on the bench. And yeah. What was the decision behind sitting him? Um, instead of one of the others? Uh, you know, it's it's a tough. We wanted to get Mac back involved, and, yeah. you know, he was ready to go probably a couple days ago if we wanted to, but we kind of played it safe with that. And then uh, you know, there's a lot of things to go into with the team we're playing with, with uh, you know, the combinations of lines. So, you know, we'll reassess, you know, going into San Antonio on Wednesday as to what we do with the, the vet issue. And again, I think it's just communicating with these older guys and showing them the respect that they deserve. That, you know, it's, it's not a bad problem to have. You know, having you know, a lot of older guys that are obviously producing is, is not a bad problem to have. Mm -hmm. And it didn't seem to hinder anything tonight at all. <laughs> well, that, that, I think that speaks to the character of the group and it speaks to the, the chemistry of the group right now. It doesn't matter you know, if we're missing one guy or two guys, someone is going in. It's kind of like the next man up mentality, and, they're, and we're getting contributions from them. Right, no, they're all working hard and pulling their weight. Yeah, I mean, everyone's kind of, everyone's pulling their own weight. Everyone's everyone's uh, jumping on the bus here. So we're, uh, we're very happy with the effort from the guys, and obviously very happy with the, the prior week. Awesome.